morning, good morning, family. How are you feeling today? I was thinking last night, I said, oh my goodness, it's already Thursday. I feel like we just did our Motivational Monday. So welcome to another episode of The Purpose Experience. Today is another day to live out my purpose and to give it 120%. Today is another day to live out my purpose and no matter what, give it 120%. Go ahead and write it in the chat. What are you thankful for today? Think it in your mind, write it in your journal. Remember, those who can express gratitude, and that's what we're going to talk about today, celebrating the small wins, have happier overall lives. And that's all that we want for one another. So I hope that you can think of those things that you are just grateful for today. Let us go right ahead to our announcements. Check out this video with me. Hello, my Delaware family. My name is Levante Dorsey, the owner of Levante and Dorsey and Associates, a mental health private practice located in Delaware. I am here with some exciting news. Do you know of a child or a youth in need of therapy services due to a trauma that they have faced, but because they do not have health insurance are unable to access that treatment. Well, great news today. We are now offering free trauma therapy for those kiddos, those youth in grades K through 12 in need of services. So whether they have, may have suffered a loss, a divorce, abuse, domestic violence, any traumatic experience that they have had, we want them to be able to get the care that they need. So feel free to share this out with family and friends and to call or text us at 302-956-9188 so we can get those kiddos the treatment that they need to work through this trauma. Also, if you know of any mental health therapists or if you are a mental health therapist, we are hiring, whether it be part-time or full-time. All you have to do again is give us a call or text at 302-956-9188 so that you can help have an impact on our community here in Delaware. Again, please share this out because we want everyone to get the treatment that they need and deserve. Look forward to hearing from you guys. All right, and that is also on my timeline, so if you could share that out. Thank you, Stephanie. Morning, Toya. She said, thankful for you. I'm just trying to let God use me. And I saw this, Stephanie, on your page, so I wanted to announce it again. Saturday, April 17th, there is a food giveaway, trying to feed a 1,000 families one back box at a time. This is for our family in Laurel, Delaware. You can visit the Power and Praise Ministry Sussex campus, and all are welcome this Saturday, 9 a.m. until supplies last. Be sure to check that out, and as well as for our parents who are have your students that are college bound hilltop lutheran neighborhood center has a college readiness program and all you have to do is contact that information on that flyer don't forget <laughs> to my summer hotties ain't that hot girl summer warm one cold whatever it may be if you want a virtual free workout my good friend jeremiah guy um, at Jeremiah 2911 Fitness is giving away five free sessions. All you have to do is send him a DM on Instagram and you guys can set up if you win that workout for next week. And again, we want to make sure if you have any books that maybe your big kids aren't reading anymore that can help out those children pre-K to sixth grade this Friday, April 16th from 4 to 6 p.m., at the 800 Vandiver Avenue, Wilmington, Delaware, are accepting books that, whether it be a workbook, coloring books, reading books, whatever it can be, that can help the babies out. So please go ahead and share this information out. If you have some books, get them ready because we just want our kids to succeed and have the resources that they need 
And that, that includes that trauma therapy if they're in need of it. That includes going to the food drive. We just want to make sure we're taking care of one another and being the vessels that God would have us to be. Now, let us go ahead. I had it pulled up. Don't tell me I lost it again. Goodness gracious. No, I got it. Uh, we'll go ahead to our scripture reading, which is John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, show it by doing what I've told you. Come on now. I will talk to the father and he'll provide you another friend so that you will always have someone with you. This friend is the spirit of truth. The godless world can't take him in because it doesn't have eyes to see him, doesn't know what to look for, but you know him already because he has been staying with you and will even be in you. We're never alone, guys. We're never alone. We have that support. So that was John 14 verse 15. And of course, I always read the message verse. Version. All right, let us get to our topic for today. Celebrate the, the wins, the small wins, the big wins, whatever it is, we want you to celebrate it. And this is another form of of gratitude, just acknowledging the present moment, the things that you've done that are accomplishments. And this came to me early this morning. It was like three, four o'clock this morning where I thought about just in the work I've done this week, the dismissal that a lot of people had of the things they had accomplished. Like, and, and just the move past of it. Um, oh, that, that was nothing. Oh, I, I did that. That's what I had to do. Well, no, we have to celebrate when we have these moments and we accomplish these things. And a lot of times we just downplay it and act like it never happened. But it's another form of expressing gratitude. And your sister, your girl realizes that I do it as well. Even when it came down to, I told you guys, um, I'm being honored by her story, our history, and I'm going to share an article with an article with you guys where my mother and I were honored as 2021 inspirational women and I downplayed it and it's still I think it's because it's a hard concept to grasp because I never want to be like my nana say and get too and get too big for my britches or get too big headed but I'm like I'm just starting out I haven't done anything why am I getting honored but I realized I have to just live in the moment and accept what others are seeing and celebrate it. So let's talk about the different roles that you play and where you can celebrate these wins. So to my parents, Stephanie said, morning, Rita. Stephanie said, I learned celebrating myself is a form of self-care. Yes, it is, Stephanie. There you go, 100%. And David said, do you sleep? You need your rest, sister. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> so for our parents, hold on, because I had a list up to make sure I can get you guys to celebrate. So for our parents, we know these children, especially during quarantine and this virtual school, or even even we can celebrate when they set an alarm and get up on their own. I told you guys the nephews were staying, so they're both downstairs, and we talked last night. I'm not waking you up. You better set that alarm, your teenage boys, and get up yourself. So when they actually do do that, we got to celebrate those wins for them and give that uh, positive praise towards them. Or when they're nice to a sibling, that's a win for you because you're instilling proper values in them to do right. Also, when they even complete a chore the first time they're asked. Yes, you're probably like, you know your chores. I didn't need to ask you this. But when they actually get to it the first time that you ask, you go ahead and pat yourself on the back because you are raising a great individual and that is a win. Think about if you had to say it 50 more times as well as remember when they remember to say please or thank you for something great that you did. That's a win, parents. Celebrate it. Acknowledge it. Let's see. 
Uh, sometimes it's hard for me to celebrate small wins because I've been through so much. Okay, you've been through so much. You hear that how that was past tense? But let's look at present day and where you're going, sis. So even though that is a part of your history and your story, we are going to live in the present. And when things come up, we're going to change. Remember, when we, when we come on here, when we're walking in our purpose, we're working on changing our core values at times, our core beliefs at times, the things that haven't served us the way that we needed them to. So, okay, yeah, you, you've been through a lot. That's okay. But I want you to now have a mindset of, I've been through a lot, but it's not going to define the rest of my life. And I can celebrate me even through it all. You get what I'm saying? They be skipping class right in front of you like it's nothing. Tell it, parents. So when they don't, when they show up, when they're even unmuting, got the camera on and answering questions, celebrate the wins, parents. Is that right? She said at 3 a.m. They, they, they're quick. When I wake up at 3 a.m., they're quick wake ups. The thought comes to my mind and child closes her eyes back, just to be clear. <laughs> okay, so our parents you know how to celebrate your small wins. So then I thought about um, our couples. Woo, you and your boo thing. Now we know it's about the teamwork. It's about vibing together. But at times that may not line up like that. They may forget an important date. So when they remember, celebrate it, right? And I know, I know your natural selves are saying, they should have remembered it anyway. Well, sometimes they don't. So let's be forgiving and still celebrate it anyhow. When they remember to complete a task that you have asked, same the same thing kind of with your babies. When they remember to complete it the first time or just before the deadline, like it, maybe it's like paperwork or something, celebrate that, right? <laughs> we can congratulate each other. We can give thank yous. We talked about this earlier this week. So couples, we can show up and acknowledge the wins, the small wins, the big ones just as well. So he said, Rita, my nephews played me with this. Thought they was done for the day. Look, you got asked 50 times about this uh, virtual school and these babies, is they, they crafty. For my supervisors out there on the job, when your team actually reads the email and does what it says, that is a celebration and you ought to celebrate it. When you guys complete a project together, yes, it's like this is required for the job, so we can still celebrate feel happy, give each other, give each other high fives. Uh, you did a great job. Email and give compliments. That's what we have to do to uplift each other. At times, we're just going almost like a robot day by day, going through the motions without cracking that smile, without cracking those jokes and having fun. And overall, we want to live this life with joy and in celebration. Absolutely. So then for family, now I know sometimes family can be challenging. Sometimes you, when the phone rings, you don't even want to answer it because you're like, what, is, what are they going to be asking me on the other end? What drama are they bringing to me? All of that good stuff. So when, uh, this was the easy one for the family, when you just have a peaceful conversation, celebrate it because that means it's going to be a beautiful day. Stephanie said, I need to celebrate more. I don't give myself enough credit. We coming right to the individual, Stephanie. You you set that right up. So when you have those moments in family, celebrate. And then in celebrating and affirming those positive actions, it will instill like, okay, maybe we should do this more. Maybe we should have peaceful conversations more often. And let's bring it on home. You, 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 you already know. Y'all don't have to tell me. I know you are not celebrating yourself in the manner that you should be. I was telling someone the other day, so I usually have my, um, my task list and each time I can put a line through something, I do a whole happy dance, right? It can be a two second celebration, but it's the acknowledgement that I did something that I needed to do. And I'm feeling myself. Go Vontae, go ahead. You did that, especially when it's something that 
you've been procrastinating on for a good amount of days that you done finally got to sis give yourself a high five brother give yourself a high five and celebrate you so even so when you check off something on the task list celebrate you when you stick to at least one health goal i know a lot of times we're not going to get it 100 percent right we're even going to fall off when you restart celebrate that because think about it you could have just said forget it and threw the whole thing away celebrate 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 um i know you guys have heard of just positive reinforcement when a child changes, a lot of times we look at it with children. When they change a behavior, do something different, we want to give them praises to affirm and it, it heightens the chances that they will do that positive behavior again. It's the same concept with us and we can give it to ourselves. If I celebrate this thing that I did, I remember how good that felt in the moment and it increases my chances of doing it again. Celebrate you. Even when you meet a deadline on the job, even when you crush a presentation or a project you've been working on, you're proud of the outcome, take yourself out to eat, celebrate in some way, high five, write yourself a note, whatever it may be, celebrate you. Oh, thanks. Stephanie said this is helpful. Ooh, all we need is one. And then <clears throat> when... You take this time to celebrate. I mean, it's okay to bring other people in on the celebration. Even if you want to write in to me, I'll celebrate you in front of everybody. We can have a celebration corner for when you just have those small. You know what? That's a great idea. Whenever y'all have small wins and you want to celebrate, send me a message and I'll be sure to include it in. We just want to exemplify more gratefulness, more happiness and joy amongst our lives. So again, celebrate the wins in your life. No matter if they come, you're like, oh, I should have been done this. Who cares? You did it. Celebrate it. Oh, I hope as always that this really made sense to you guys that you'll, you'll share it out. Yes. Love the celebration circle. We're going to do that. So, but y'all got to tell me because I can't be making up celebrations. Y'all got to tell me when we get these wins. Um, but I hope you can share it out so we can have some more people sharing in on the love and the happiness and the joy. Today is, it's Thursday. I'm still shocked at how quick that came. It's our last day together. I'm going to be taking some self-care time over the weekend just to reflect and take in. I will see you guys bright and early Monday morning. Have a fabulous day today and rest of your week. Give it 120 and when you do, celebrate it. All right, love you guys. Bye-bye.